Hey everybody, it's Austin Ward back with another Buck IQ. We're talking wide receivers, so we've got Evan Spencer in there. And Evan, if there's been a guy that I think everybody has had been waiting maybe a couple of years to explode, yeah. Benjamin Victor, some of that physical ability, the athletic prowess that he had, it oh, was yeah. just like somebody needed that light to turn on for him. Yeah. It seems like it has. Yeah, it definitely seems like it has. You know, there's a, a bit of a coming out party that we've seen, you know, in the last couple of weeks. But, you know, I, I think so much about what's happened to date, you know, with his struggles and, and, and with the mountain that he's had to climb personally to, mm -hmm. to get to the stage that he's on, you know, is is about getting him to be that complete receiver. You know, um, so much about is, you know, we obviously know that he's athletically gifted and he can make plays in, the, in deep in the end zone like we've seen. And they've probably seen that at practice as well and in Camden as well. But at the end of the day, playing at Ohio State, you got to be complete. You got to figure out ways to block down the field and you got to figure out ways to affect the run game and, you know, affect the passing game when you're not the direct person getting the ball. So. Now that he's doing that, you know, I'm excited to see what he can, you know, uh, come up with next. And that takes time, right, Evan? I mean, we saw this. I'm not saying that Ben Victor and Michael Thomas are the same, mm -hmm. but Mike Thomas took a red shirt in his second year on campus. It, he didn't become the greatest receiver in right. the NFL overnight. Absolutely. You know, I, I, I again, so much about Mike's success was failing. You know, I, I think Mike would tell you that, you know, first and foremost is, you know, his freshman year, he learned so much, and then he had all these aspirations for a year two and didn't really get to those points right. and, you know, and, and saw whatever agenda or whatever achievements he had, you know, not really get there, right? But that was his burning desire for year three, four, and then obviously we've seen what he's done since. So, you know, having those uh, humbling moments, you know, are, are what build great careers. And Ben Victor seems to be on one now. He's had a great first couple months of the season. We're going to have Evan Spencer break it down on film to see why. Uh, he's giving the Buckeyes so much right now. So let's roll the tape. What player on the roster would you say is the most improved from summertime until now? Is somebody that jumps out at you? I'd have to say Ben Victor might be uh, in that category. Just couldn't maintain grasp. Another handoff, and Weber is loose inside the 30 yard line. Gets a block from the receiver, and he's gone. Touchdown, Ohio State. All right, Evan, so this is week one, and a big part of what you mentioned of being a receiver is doing the complete package. So mm -hmm. we're going to get to the sensational <laughs> grabs that Ben Victor made, the clutch plays, but he kind of set it all up and caught Urban Meyer's attention with what he did, setting the way for Mike Weber as a blocker. Yeah, no, I mean, it, and when you're at Ohio State, that's that's where it starts. You know, once once we can get here, let, let me be critical before, that, I, absolutely. before I get to the, <laughs> you know, the, the end result, but... You know, the, the critical aspect is this. You know, we got a quick hitting run. At the end of the day, um, Vic needs to know if this gets blocked up perfectly, it's going to be quick hitting. Okay. That said, sometimes if we get a little bit more aggressive corner, if he sits or is more aggressive, you know, the, the, the quick breakdown to make sure that, you know, I, I don't overshoot or I don't over lunge myself or over commit myself, you know, might need to be expedited sometimes. Okay. And, you know, knowing the run and then knowing that in this specific circumstance, had the corner played it, it could have been a different result. That said, we still got it blocked up great. You know, we still scored. Um, if there was a potential um, criticism, that would be it. But nonetheless, that's where you got to take that. You got to, you know, figure out how does that apply with the run scheme? How does that apply with, you know, um, different longer hitting runs versus quick hitting runs mm -hmm. in, in, in the time that I need to get connected with my guy? So that said, you take that and that's what you build from, and that's how you get, become a complete receiver here at Ohio State. Hey, I think a lot of the question for the first couple of years he was on campus was, can he give that four to six A to B consistent mm -hmm. effort every play, mm -hmm. finish the way? And and if he didn't get there right away, you can at least see here yep. the way he sticks with it. Oh, and and at the end of the day, it's about your finish, right? You know, this is me being hypercritical. That's your, he gets that's connected. Your he gets connected. The running back's able to make a cutoff of his block, and at the end of the day, the end result is a touchdown. That is a plus. This is, you know, this is what this is what matters. Putting some hands on somebody and moving them the direction that they don't want to go. He's bringing pressure. Haskins trying to escape. Fires across his body high, and the catch is made. And Benjamin Victor still running. Victor cutting back against the grain, heading for the end zone, and will make it in Ohio State. So once you start blocking, guys, you know Evan. Then you start getting the football thrown your way a little bit. And this was in a situation where it absolutely had to happen, down 12 on the road mm -hmm. against Penn State. Yeah, so we got some situation here. Obviously, we're down. And at this point, it's got to happen in this drive. We need points. So the mental, the mental thought process that Ben had here to say at the end of the day, if I get my opportunity, 
I am going to be the one to put this in the end zone because we got to score points. Like right. it's got to happen. It's got to happen right now. So I get my opportunity. I'm running a dig route, right? I might not have the best leverage on any of these guys, but I'm going to squeeze that football. I'm going to break one tackle. And oh, by the way, I got a receiver here <laughs> blocking for me. I got another one here blocking for me. And Johnny's wheel, you know, wheeling off. So at the end of the day, it's just about effort, man. And that's what you were able to see in this drive particularly. This but This body this control. Play too. Holy cow. Yeah. I mean, he's a freak. We, we, we knew that we were going to see this at some point, right? Yeah. You know, the, 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 the hypercritical nature that I took in the first clip is because we can, we're going to see this and we're going to see probably even freakier plays as we go along. But that said, if you can take those, the, the, those finite details of the run game or of the pass game and, and complete yourself, this gets you to number one overall. This gets you to being in the Pro Bowl and, and as a freshman or as a rookie and, yeah. you know, and so on and so forth. And if you want to finish a good Buck IQ, there's nowhere else to go uh, but right here at the end of the Indiana game. Oh, Holy yeah. cow, this is this is one of the best catches you'll ever see. Man, I got to watch it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Just yeah, no, drink I mean, it in. At, at, at the end of the day, you know, it's it's about one two, right? You know, football is a game of one two. And, and when you're out there acting, this is after Penn State. You know, I, I'm going to continue to make a presence. I'm going to continue my name. I'm going to continue my legacy. I need this football. So at the end of the day, if I got to stack 14, mm -hmm. if I got to you know throw them on the in my release, if I got to win mid route, whatever I have to do, I need this ball, right? And that's want to, and that's what we saw here. You know, the the freakish nature of almost doing the splits and getting his knee down and both knees down, and he controlled it and turned his body. All of that is we're going to get that right but it's want to and that's what we saw here and that's what's you know that's what's really uh, uh you know makes me feel good and and, and, and I'm, I'm i'm happy for him i've always excited to see what happens in his career i've always liked to ask these guys like like michael thomas i mentioned him at the top he was really good about getting his feet in bounds mm -hmm. when you're in these situations evan how much are you really looking at the field because you've got to make sure you get the ball first like how do you balance those two things to get your feet in bounds make sure you get the catch complete all that how aware of you of that paint. I mean, it's 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 all about perception. You know, you, you gotta you know where you are on the field, right? At the end of the day, if I'm running this and I'm you know I, and I just crossed, I'm looking at the ball, but I, I know that the ground that I'm now on is red and it's no <laughs> longer green. I know that after I catch this, if I'm moving quick, I probably gotta get my feet down pretty soon. So it's those little small things that you kind of gotta just be aware of. If I'm running a fade from the 10 yard line and the quarterback had to hitch once or twice, I'm probably gonna be pretty close to the end of the end zone. So it's just all of those things that you can collect in your head as information on top of whatever you can perceive around what yeah. you're focusing on is kind of what you have to do. But it's all just feel, right? You just gotta feel where you're at on the field. Those little details are adding up for Ben Victor. It's really helping Ohio State now with one more month of the regular season to go. Evan Spencer, of course, is gonna be watching him and the rest of those guys in zone six as they push forward and compete for some championships. We'll break all that down uh, as the season goes on, we come back on Buck IQ because he's Evan Spencer and I'm Austin Ward, and we'll see you next time.